Life is an empty canvas. In the beginning, the foundation, the background is our parents, and I am ever grateful to have a very colorful one. Growing up, I was born in a family of artists, creative, innovative people. My grandfather, who directed many plays and performed many of the content I consumed when I was young. My aunt did the same. And every single day, I was surrounded by traditional music, by choreography, so much so that I was enamored. And I will never forget the iconic recording of myself waving, spinning around a spear prop and singing this song. And that was only when I was turning free. And unfortunately, the one time I had the opportunity to bask in the spotlight, to go on stage and perform in front of so many people, it was for a show that to honor the legacy of my grandfather. And even in grade school, I was communicating with a lot of my best friends through comics. And despite all of it being illustrated by Stickman, um, it was my way of showing trust, of bonding with the people I truly cared about. And even now, I am actively using funny images, witty poems to better explain my lessons to my IELTS students. And all my methods are largely inspired by a quote by Albert Einstein. One picture is worth a thousand words. And this is an indisputable fact. Words often slip from our mind into the wind. And despite the power of which literature holds, 50% of everything we have learned would have been forgotten in just one hour. For example, we are told to stop littering, to stop smoking. And the packaging on cigarettes specifically states that smoking will lead to a slow and painful death, and yet it is ignored. Why? Because to the speaker, it is a request, a plea, yet to the listener, it is only an opinion. But the moment we put this into a sign, into a painting, into any form of art medium, suddenly people start to think, they start to ponder, and now it feels like an obligation. And this is why also on the packaging of cigarettes, it they will include some sort of disturbing, maybe graphic images to hit home the message and to convince, especially teenagers whose mindset are still in the right place, that they should stop at this moment. Another great example of an artist's ability to convey something that is so difficult to be described using words is the album that is six hours long, Everywhere at the End of Time by Leyland Carby, who is also known as The Caretaker. For me, this is one of my favorite albums. The reason for this is the first stage, right, is so beautiful and it musically sets up the rest of the stages. And the reason this album is uh, so controversial and popular at 2020 at the time was because it represents the stages of the mind deteriorating because of dementia. And someone who has not researched or understood the context of this album, when they dive first into the first song, it sounds melancholic. It's reminiscent of someone who is in their last stage of life, who is in, who's an elderly person. They are remembering the best times of their life, the prime life, the prime time of their life, and the beautiful dances that they've um, had with their loved ones. But when you've already knew the inspiration behind the album, you will always be on the edge of your seat because the little distortions, every little mistake within the album is no longer a result of the old or insufficient equipment or instrument at the time, but as a result of 
uh, the inevitable, inevitability of an incurable disease. Now, why couldn't the author or the artist would have said Alzheimer is such a terrible disease affecting 50 million people and one of the most dangerous disease among the elderly? Yes, he could have done that. However, again, it is merely a statistic. Something that happens to people around the world, to strangers that we have yet known. And the same applies for whether it be COVID, whether it be heart disease, whether it be risk-facing AI, or even pollution and climate change. All of, this, all of these problems, all of these things, to us as humans, sometimes we forget feign ignorance to have a moment's peace or to escape all the guilt and responsibility. And thus, I have three main message to leave you guys with. Be creative, be inspirational, and of course, be yourself. Inside of us is something worth sharing. Inside of us is this tiny spark of ambition, of inspiration. And with the right guidance, we will be able to ignite this tiny ember of ambition to create something truly special. Through paintings, we can make artistic expressions become tangible. Through music, we can spread our messages and touch the hearts of listeners. And finally, through art, we can express complex feelings and leave behind a long-lasting imprint, something that is beyond words. Thank you for listening.